What's going on YouTube? Today, I finally got the clutch in. I got my short throw shifter in and I got everything in for my clutch. I mean, for my transmission. So, uh, gonna go for a ride in the Camaro. I'll show y'all how everything looks. But yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I got something special for y'all at 100 subscribers. I appreciate all the recent support and the build continues for the Camaro. So let's jump right in the car. Well, I'll show y'all everything first and then we'll jump right in the car. So, here's my short throw shifter. And you can't see the clutch. I mean, I showed you last video. But yeah, I'm gonna throw the POV GoPro mount on and we're gonna go for a ride so I can show y'all how good everything is. All right, so we're in the car now. POV mount as you can see but there's my shifter and it's a lot better now you know as you can see I can just the throw is pretty much gone I mean it's still some throw but it clicks in the gear instead of the other one I literally had to throw it back and it was such a long throw and you could probably see it in some of my races when I was shifting but now it's just a quick throw just one click 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 simple you know it's, it's a lot better and then that plus put my seat belt on that plus my clutch catching real low now you can't see down there but now my clutch catches probably about i want to say two inches probably three to four inches off the ground compared to halfway up not three probably two or three inches away from completely engaged i mean completely in so if I lift off about two to three inches, it's already engaging, which is a lot better. So the clutch I went with, if you haven't seen my last video, is a spec stage three clutch. And that's the stage three plus. So I got the stage three plus kit and I got the spec billet steel flywheel with that. So that's my clutch setup. And then this shifter is just the Hurst short throw shifter. I'll leave all three linked below. I got all of this from Summit Racing. So just go on their website and look for spec stage three or um the hearse short throw shifter then uh last thing i got which was and very important that you must do if you go ahead and change out your clutch you must go ahead and at least upgrade your throw out bearing in the slave cylinder because the one that comes in there is plastic if you plan on adding more power which in turn adds more heat you need to upgrade that to metal or steel or something better than plastic because it's gonna melt and you're gonna have to go back in there and change all of that out. Just do it the first time around, save yourself the headache and go ahead and get that. But I'm not gonna talk anymore. We're gonna go ahead and start driving. I'll just give you all a rundown. So, as you can see, I can shift way quicker. I could not do that before with the stock transmission. And we're just gonna drive through here. Not really sure why that security car is there. It's actually someone in there. All my years of coming to this park, they've never had security. But hey, teach is on. But as you can see, this clutch just shifts so much better and I will get on it in a minute I don't know if y'all can hear that whining noise that's my AC compressor that is something else that I'm gonna have to change very soon here so until I get to the road I guess I'll go ahead and tell y'all update y'all on this car and pretty much everything else going on with the channel so far so pretty much with this car, the clutch phase is done. I won't have to, I probably won't have to touch this car again until the clutch goes out because I went ahead and did it right the first time. I went ahead and upgraded the slave cylinder. I may potentially have to go in and upgrade um, my clutch lines and separate the reservoir, which is another thing. These cars, for some odd reason, these cars do not come with a brake reservoir 
and a separate um, hydraulic fluid reservoir. They're combined in one, and I really don't understand why Chevy or GM did that because this is a performance car. You most likely don't want most of those mixed together if you're buying a performance car. But it is what it is. I'll have to fix that in the future though. But as far as the rest of the things that this car needs, um, I need brakes for this car and I need struts. But I plan on getting coilovers eventually and brakes. So I'm probably gonna do both of those at the same exact time. But first I need to fix my infinity, which I'll explain everything about that in the next video. But let's uh, fast forward to Mexico and drive down my favorite road now. All right. Now you'll be able to see how much better this clutch is. As you can see, I can ship way quicker. Now when I was racing, when I was racing that last car, my clutch was slipping, plus I couldn't ship nearly as fast. But I'll go ahead and drop a clip of that video right here. And yeah, so you can see, that is a huge difference. I can ship way faster now. Now I just need to get used to it pretty much. I mean, I'm pretty used to it, but I just need to get more acquainted to this clutch. But as you can see, it is a lot better. One thing I will say is this setup is as expected a lot more aggressive so if you are going to go with this setup it's going to be a lot more aggressive so if this is your daily then that is something to consider but it's still drivable with this short throw shifter though that definitely took you that definitely took time to get used to because you literally have to you have to forcefully throw it in gear which is i mean that's a good thing but it's not as soft and light as the other shifter it's kind of heavy and the gears are very notchy so if that's what you're looking for then it's going to be perfect but as you can see i have to throw it in gear like i have to i literally have to do that to shift if i don't shift like that it won't go in gear so it makes you drive the car more aggressive which is a good thing if this is if that's what you're looking for this car is still this car is still growing on me, man. I still love this car a lot. I really do like this car, man. Every mod I do makes it a lot better. And y'all hold on real quick. Let me take this call. All right, so I'm back. My cousin just called me. Um, but yeah, this car, I'm really starting to like it more. Every With every mod I do, and this is honestly everything I thought it would be you know if you're looking for a Camaro 1LE or SS and you want to mod it it's definitely worth it it just wakes the car up with every mod that you do now just watch how quick this shift is I can just shift so much quicker and I love it It's not a huge delay in between shifts. Like that really bothered me. And as you probably heard me complaining in earlier videos, that was one of my biggest pet peeves with this car is that I could not shift like I wanted to, but now I can. So that's probably, this is probably one of the best mods that I've done so far. And it's crazy because it doesn't make the car too much faster, but it makes it a lot funner to drive and a lot better to drive. Drivability is still good, but it's definitely not as smooth as it used to be. Of course, I didn't want it to be. But if you're looking for something that's gonna improve the performance, then you definitely need a short throw shifter. This is probably one of the mods that you need more than anything else. Because if you're if you're gonna upgrade your car, why not why not go ahead and get a short throw shifter? It only makes sense. But yeah, so that's about 
that's about it you know i did this upgrade i've had it on for about how long have i had this on i've had this on for about uh that's my brother <laughs> i've had this on for about two weeks now so clutches i broke the clutch in within a week i drove the car i was not about to sit here and not be able to drive my car how i want to drive it so i already broke it in so it's been about two weeks and seven eight hundred miles probably a thousand and i've had no problems you know the clutch catches like crazy you know my car is in tune so my low end isn't all the way there yet but if I drop the clutch, this car is just going to spin the tires all the way through first, as it should. When I was in, before I got it changed, it would not do that. And the stock clutch, honestly, is kind of weak to begin with. So, if you upgrade your car, you got to upgrade the clutch. It's just something you need to do. But yeah, that's about it so far. Um, my next video is going to be with the Infinity. So, expect to see that and get around them my next video is going to be the infinity because it's, that is my daily i have to have that car reliable to upgrade this one and go crazy with it because when i get down with this car it probably won't be reliable well hopefully it is that's the goal but knowing me i'm probably going to go very crazy and this car will not be my daily anyway so that just gives me more of an excuse to go even crazier with this car but yeah so with that's gonna just about do it for this video. If you wanna see what's going on with the Infinity, I'm bringing it back next video. Probably next few videos will be the Infinity, honestly. I'm about to do some major, major, major maintenance to that car and fix a lot of things wrong. It's almost at 200,000 miles. So it's gonna be some interesting videos coming up. You don't wanna miss that. But if you like my content, if you like the video, then go ahead and give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. At 100 subscribers, I mean, no, no, excuse me. At 1,000 subscribers, remember, I'm doing a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, and you'll be entered to win that. So you literally have, out of 1,000 people, you have a chance to win $100 just for being subscribed to my channel. So that's pretty good. And at 100 subscribers, as I said at the beginning of the video, I have something special lined up for y'all that I'm gonna do. Something that I have not done before. So y'all stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll be uploading a little bit more frequently now. I just have to get through that whole phase of getting this car fixed and lining up content for y'all. So y'all stay tuned for the next video. It should be up in a few days. And I will catch y'all on the next one.